Hi, hello. So, let's talk a little bit about Scala and Kotlin and compare the two. So, Scala and Kotlin. These, this is actually this is actually a little bit interesting because this, uh, if you don't know it, both of them are Java-based languages, which means that they both run on the JVM, and they try to bring a little bit of more m a modern feel with a bit of you know. Basically, it's tr they're trying to solve things that Java was way too slow at even considering back in the day. Now Java is catching up in many many senses with Java 8 and even Java 9 coming up pretty soon, where a lot of these issues that caught basic well Scala was before was first with solving those issues with functional styles and so forth coming into the language now. If you have a look at, for example, Scala, which is what I'm using right now at work, it's uh, it's very Java-like in many senses, and it's actually when Kotlin kind of was released and I started using that for a little while, I realized that they're all actually Scala and Kotlin are they're very there are a lot of similarities, not as many as between Kotlin and as between uh, between Sw Swift and Kotlin are probably the closest when it comes to language similarities it's basically like swedish and norwegian it's so close that you can speak e either one and both parties are going to understand each other and the thing i wanted to touch on is basically that if you compare these two unfortunately i have to say that what i've seen so far now i'm not an expert in any way like i've been using scala for Mm, a few weeks reaching into my first month now full-time professional development if you will and the be like the best part about Scala that I like what I truly enjoy about Scala is that you know you have the asynchronicity you have futures and you ho have all, all those types of things unfortunately there are enough things going on in that language that I am not a fan of and things that the language does as well or as poorly as most like a lot of other other languages like i one of the things i hate most about ruby is all the dsl bullshit i i absolutely hate the the con like having this like you basically creating your own pseudo language or like uh, operator overrides and all that all those things makes it very very difficult to, for you in my opinion to adopt this new language because like like you can't really you know Scala has macros and so forth it gets to me at least to me that makes the, the learning curve a little bit steeper because there's more stuff you need to know and and so forth and it doesn't really in my opinion fit all that well in mixed in with like the regular code because all of a sudden you have magic magic keywords that do something magical and yeah anyway that's me being a little bit negative, but on the plus side, as I said, it's very nice to have asynchronicity and the idea of of functional programming embedded into the platform. So that's a, a that's a big plus for Scala. Kotlin is this is me being biased, basically. I really think that Kotlin is onto something. Like uh, it is a really good language. It is really really good. I enjoy it quite a bit, and what's what's even worse, I would say, for Scala is that Kotlin actually has most of the stuff, uh, like a lot of the benefits that you get in in from Scala, are actually in Kotlin, and they do things that are even like in many cases they are very similar. But since Kotlin now is the main poster child for all the new Android developers, or uh, and basically any modern Android development you're doing today, starting from scratch right now, should or should probably be done in Kotlin because it's like it's the new kid on the block, and it's most likely going to take over modern. Like it's probably going to do the same thing for Android as as what happened between Objective C and Swift. So, you know, getting into Kotlin right now is probably a very good bet. And since it's Java-based, you can use it on the server side as well. And the, the beautiful part about it is that the language is actually... It's actually 
in my opinion, like if you tell, ask me, like what, what would you, you, you like on the server? If we we talk about server side, if you wanted to start a building a Java-based system on the server, would you use Kotlin or Scala? And the thing is that I don't really see any real reason as to why I would use Scala over Kotlin, because most like. Uh, anything Scala, almost, uh, maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm missing something, maybe, and if I am, please leave a comment or something, because I'm trying to see why I would use Scala instead of Kotlin. Because Kotlin has, it's more adopted, it's getting, a, getting more traction than Scala ever had, uh, or has for that matter, and it's being endorsed as the main, like the new main language supported for Android, which is a really big brand. So I'm trying, and it can basically do everything that Scala can do. So uh, this is me being, basically saying that I don't really see a good reason why you would pick one over the other, apart from, you know, you always, you obviously still, you already have a code base that is built in Scala. Now there's nothing wrong with Scala, but if you get to choose between the two, I would choose Kotlin every single time. Every single time. Though there is one thing, no, no, that I've actually, I'm actually mentioning it. I'm thinking about it. There is one thing that Scala does very well, which is pattern matching. It has very nice support for pattern matching. And yeah, that might not be a strong case for it, but it's something at least. Sorry to disappoint you, but I can't really give you an objective like comparison between the two when you should use one over the other i would actually go as far as to say that if you're if you have the choice today choose kotlin that's basically the end of my little rant here